is FHM versus Dana White at Arm Wrestling. Go. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, this is Dana White, world's greatest living businessman, and here's his three tips for the top. Number one is you have to get involved in a business that you're you're passionate about, something that you care about, something that when you get out of work, when you get out of bed every day and go to work, it's it's not really work. It's, it's something you really care about and you're passionate about. The other one is, <laughs> which I'm very good at, is surround yourself with people who are a lot smarter than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody that, that is around me is, is much smarter than I am, and uh, th that, that's definitely a big plus. You know, if it's a CFO, your attorneys, uh, the vice president of your company, um, you, you got to hire the best. And I don't know if it's number one. Like I said, I, I don't know if I'd put them in, in any order. Um, you always have to remember, and, and this is this is a big one for me because I'm the guy who's out in front, and I get most of the the accolades and, and most of the. Uh, the props for what we've done, but it's a team effort. You have to have a great staff, and your staff is is uh, the reason that everything gets done. You know, we put on ten pay-per-views a year, six uh, Ultimate Fight nights, two finales, plus the Ultimate Fighter. And you have to have a great team, and, and it's uh, it's really all about the team. It's not just one guy. I'm the one who gets all the props for the UFC, but it's it's a team effort. Yeah, that like Branson, Dana White's tips for the top. Is <laughs> that room where Dana lays down the law? It's got all that rubbish in it. And we didn't knock that photo over. So this is Vandalay Silva. If you're one of those, um, you know, real MMA nerds who like likes to bang on about pride and stuff, you know that this guy is just a god. And uh, the reason he's a god is because he fights like a man possessed. However, I've heard that he's a consummate gentleman. He really loves his family, and of course, he always likes to come to the Octagon to banging trance tunes. So perhaps. He likes cuddles more than fighting. Let's find out. Okay, so how, how does it work? How does it work? We go, just go like that, yeah. Yeah. Just go, and then just, just and back. then just move it around, yeah. yeah. And where did you, where did you get this from? This is part to, to, to find it work I'm going to. And when did you first start doing it? Oh, a long time. Yeah. Yeah. In uh, in Japan, the rules are slightly different, and so you can kick people on the floor which uh, Mr. Silver is particularly well known for his acumen of doing. And uh, how you train this is you get one guy down on the floor while um, Vandalay practices on him. Yeah. So I'm going to go down. Vandalay's going to practice, good. yeah? yeah go on in. So I've been, um, I sparred with, you know, with a few guys. Um, Mike my, my Bisping's a scary guy. Um, you know, Hoist Gracie, as you saw the other day, almost killed me. Um, but this is probably the first time I've been absolutely terrified. First guy put me on the floor of the octagon, Vanley Silva, you know, one of the greatest mixed martial artists of the modern age. You know, gonna be amazing watching you fight in a few weeks' time. Thank you very, very thank much. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. My pleasure. FHM.com today. Yeah. Okay, so uh, fantastic day out, obviously. The ultimate advisor, Jim. Vanley Silva put me on my back. Uh, Sam Stout, you know, just kind of did me, basically. You know, Rampage was just a legend throughout the whole thing to the piss out of everybody. You know, fantastic stuff. <laughs>